hi everyone welcome back i haven't done a video for about three weeks i seem to have lost my youtube mojo a little bit so i'm very excited today because i have had a lovely gift as part of my pr package from queen mabel and doris and they are going to branch into creating um, packs of junk journal kits and I'm so excited I've not actually had a look what's inside here yet so I'm really excited basically the kit is going to be a whole kit so that you can make your own junk journals um, so do head over to Queen Mabel and Doris and join their Facebook group for updates on when they will be available so this is a sneak peek of what you can expect and I'm quite excited because I love junk journals and I can't wait to get stuck in um, to creating one. So, oh, exciting. Right. Oh, wow. Okay, so, goodies. So in this one, this pack, it looks like lots and lots of different ribbons, things like you can use to make gift tags, bits of lace to decorate your junk journal. Um, it is partly a sewing kit as well. Um, so you can sew your book, sew your kit to make your own junk journal. Lots of beautiful ribbons, some lovely bits of lace. So that is fantastic, can't wait to actually start. I've got, even got a big wide needle and some wax thread there as well. So I'm not going to worry about putting it all away. I'll do that after. Um, oh, wow. That is so pretty. It's a proper lace doily um, to add into your journal. That is really, really nice. So you could actually sew that onto the cover or you could create it as a sort of fold out so that it creates like a little fold when you open it. Very nice. Uh, this is material and the feel of this is gorgeous. So again, you could use this for sewing the cover um, or you could sew inside for the pages. Um, yeah, so I don't think it's got a specific size to this junction. I think you can make it any size you want. Oh, wow, that is so pretty. That is a tag look. A little, oh, it's a clip. Oh, that is so nice. That is a handmade clip that Susie has made. Um, coffee or tea stained to clip into your journal and that's got metal bits on it as well. And I think you can buy these individually in the shop. That is so nice. Then we've got some more bits of material that you can use for covers or pages to line your journals. Very nice. Oh, this is a scored um, card to make an envelope. That is really nice. Oh, that is lovely. So you can use that to create little pockets for your journals to put like little tags in and have everything else. Very nice. Oh, there's a few others as well, which is great. I recently have acquired a scoring board. So now that I've seen how to do it, I might be able to do some of my own as well. Very nice. And these are lovely journal cards that I think Susie has distressed. Um, they are so nice for junk journaling. I've also got a junk journal um, which I made last year as part of the junk journal challenge at Kerry May Makes a Mess group which you can have a look at. Um, I will list it as a video up at the top now if you want to go and have a look and save that for later. And I will also link that at the end as well. So some of these things can actually be used in that journal as well. Um, that's something that I'm going to be working on this week, working on my happiness journal. Oh, that is so nice. Journaling cards, beautiful. So pretty and this is a happiness one so that is definitely going in my happiness journal sorry I know it's meant for this kit but cross-referencing of course um, some lovely paper 
very nice so you can use these as like tip-ins so that when you create your book you've got larger pages and then smaller pages as well and you can then sort of mix it so you've got like the tag could actually go on part of the page you could then um, put your envelope stick your envelope to it so you've got little slots so this kit is so versatile you can basically do what you like with it to create your own little mini junk journals with very little effort as well such a nice idea oh wow this is gorgeous this is a serviette um, which you can take the layers off and then use a uh, matte medium that you can then adhere it to the page and it gives a lovely sort of see-through look and then we've got some more of those beautiful serviettes they are so nice I really struggle finding to finding some nice serviettes to use and these are beautiful and then we've got some little paper doilies can't beat a paper doily I love paper doilies and again with these the trick is they you know they've got different layers to them so you can actually unlayer them to get sort of double the quality quantity and then we've got a little gift bag which you can use as a tip in so you can stick that in and then put little make little pockets and another bag here oh that is so nice i do apologize about the light of this video it is now nearly four o'clock so it is getting quite dark so i do apologize oh everything's falling oh gorgeous proper vintage um sheet music in the garden that is so nice i love old paper absolutely love it so i'm just having a smell in case you're wondering what i'm doing i like i like the smell of old books and then we've got some pages from uh, vintage books, which again, you can use as tippins. So you might put them that way if you sew your journal that way and then the pages open up like that. Or you could actually sew down the edge to create your book. Oh, this is nice. This is waxed paper. Um, again, it's really nice if you create a page and put that in between so that you can see it sort of vaguely through or you could use it for photographs, put a photograph on and then put the paper over. So pretty. Um, gorgeous paper. Oh wow, that is so nice with the little bird cages. So... Oh, I absolutely love everything in here, Susie and Carol. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this paper. It's been sort of burnt at the edges. And I think that is probably tea stain or coffee stained paper. So nice. That will be gorgeous to write on with a fountain pen. Again, some more stained papers. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And the thing with these kits is everything is going to be unique. I don't think any kit is going to be exactly the same as another kit. So you are getting something that is 100% unique to create your own unique journal with. And I'm sure that every single journal that is, that's going to be created from these kits will be unique to you as well. And then some more papers for tip-ins or you could use them to make tags. How nice is that? That is so pretty. I love that colour. Oh, what we got here? Some buttons to sew on. Look at that. That's a little charm look. That is so cute. Um, so again, yeah, you could sew those onto tags. You could sew those onto your cover. Oh, and there's another little tag, another little charm there, look, with a star. I am aware that it's getting very, very dark. Oh wow, and some little little um, clips so that you can make your own clips and some little flowers that you can clip on or stick on. Wow, loads more paper as well. 
So that is so nice. That is uh, one of their templates, I think, from their inserts, because they do uh, TN inserts as well. If you don't know Queen Mabel and Doris, they're on Etsy, and they do uh, traveller's notebook inserts and normal notebook inserts. And I think they started doing ringed planet inserts as well. So do check out the shop. And if you use code QMD friend 15, which I'll put below, you get 15% off. I'm not sure if you get 15% off these kits though. So that's something you can ask about in the group. And some more of their beautiful pages. So pretty. Oh wow, look at this. That is like a vintage map page. I don't know whether that's been stamped or whether that was purchased. That is so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. And then some handmade paper here. Now, if you've never used handmade paper before, if you wet it slightly and sort of give it a little sponge, it actually brings some of the fibres out of the paper. Um, and you can use it, if you tear it, you can actually fray the edges if you wet the edges. Um, so that is stunning. And then some card and some more gorgeous papers. Look at these, these are beautiful. So pretty. I love Susie's papers. She gets the most amazing papers. I don't know where she gets them from, but they are absolutely gorgeous. And these are like almost like card, not quite as thick as card, but like scrapbook paper. So there is the kit. Now that is such a stunning, stunning kit, and I absolutely can't wait to get to get it used and to get something created with it. So I will keep you updated on this and um, it's going. To, it's not going to be a quick process. I'm not going to create something really quickly. Um, it's going to be an ongoing thing. So I will be sharing little bits as I do it. And then eventually I will show you the finished product. But it's going to be something that you can add to for life. Um, you know, you could use this to make your own junk journal as a gift. Um, it doesn't have to be something that you use you could it would make a lovely present as is but it could be a little project for you maybe you buy one of these kits and you create a lovely junk journal for someone for christmas that would be a nice idea for a project so look at the amount of stuff that you get it's absolutely amazing you have completely outdone yourselves susie and carol and i'm so grateful it's absolutely stunning I can't wait to actually get stuck in and to use it all. So thank you very much. Right, so thank you very much for watching everyone. I will put the links to the Facebook group and to their shop and the discount code below. And don't forget to check out my junk journal video as well and to subscribe. Okay, bye.